to support us by subscribing our channel and for more videos and update please press the bell icon for latest update in the u.s ordinal numbers e.g first grade are used for identifying grades typically ages and grades grouping in Contemporary public and private schools may be found through the U.S. Department of Education. Generally, there are three stages, elementary school, K-15 and 16th grade, middle school, 6th and 7th grade and 8th grade, and high school, 9th, 12th grades. Adult education variations. In K-12 education, sometimes students who receive failing grades are held back to a year and repeat coursework in hope of any satisfactory scores on the second trial. High school graduates sometimes take a gap year before the first year of college colleague for travel, work, public service or independent learning. Many undergraduate college programs now commonly are five years programs. This is especially common in technical fields such as engineering. The five-year period often includes one or more periods of internship with an employer in the chosen field of students who were freshmen in 2005 seeking bachelor's degrees in public institution. The 2 percent took four years, 12 percent took five years, 6 percent took six years, and 43 percent did not graduate within six years. This number for private non-profit institutions were 52% in 4 years, 10% in 5 years, and 4% in 6 years, and 35% failing to graduate. Some graduation institutions offer an accelerated 3 years bachelor's degree or a combined 5-year bachelor's and master's degrees. Many graduate students do not start professional schools immediately after finishing graduation studies, but work for a time while saving up money and deciding on career di direction. The National Center for Education Statistics found that in 1990 to 2000, 73% of people attending institutions of higher education were non-traditional students. Case of education, schooling is compulsory for all children in the United States, but the age range of which the school's attendance is required varies from the state to state. Some states allow students to leave school between 14 to 17 with parental permission before finishing high school. Other states require students to stay in school until the age 18. Public free education is typically from kindergarten to grade 12, frequently abbreviated K-12. Most parents send their children either to a public or private institution. According to government's data, one-tenth of students are enrolled in private schools. Approximately 85% of students enter the public schools. Lastly, because they are tax-subsidized, tax burdened tax by schools, districts vary from area to area. School districts are usually separated from one other local jurisdictions with independent officials and budget. There are more than 40,000 school districts in the country. More than $500,000 billion is spent each year on public, primary, and secondary education. Most states require that their school districts within each state teach for 180 days for a year. In 2010, there were 3,823,142 teachers in public schools, charter private and Catholic elementary and secondary schools. They taught a total of 55,200,000 students who attended one of the 132,656 schools. Most children begin elementary education with kindergarten, usually 5 to 6 years old, and finish secondary education with 12th grade, usually 17 to 18 years old. In some cases, 
pupils may be promoted beyond the next regular grade parents may also choose to educate their own children at home 1.7 percent of children are educated in this matter around 3 million students between the age of 16 and 24 drop out of high school each year a rate of 6.6 percent as of 2012 citations needed in the united states 75 percent of crimes are committed by high school dropouts around 60 percent of black dropouts end up spending time incarcerated with incarcerated rate of african american male high school dropout was about 50 times the national average of 2010 states do not require reporting from their high school districts to allow analysis of efficiency of return on investment the center of american progress commends florida and texas as the only two states that provided annual school level productively evaluations which report to the public how well school funds are being spent on local level this allows for comparison of school districts within the state. In 2010, American students ranked 7, 17 in the world. The Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development says that this is all due to focusing on the low end of performance. All the recent gains have been made deliberately and the low end of the socio-economic scale and among the lowest achievers the country has been outrun the story says by other nations because the u.s has not done enough to encourage highest achievers